Hey guys, this is what you're looking at, and today we have the Airsoft Gun Review of the Classic Army Sportline Scar L brought to you by Airsoft Station. Hope you enjoy the video. Okay guys, now going over some of the accessories you can plan on coming with this gun. The first thing is going to be the magazine here. This is a light gray in color 300 round high capacity magazine. You're going to get a paper showing you how to put the battery in and how not to use the battery when it doesn't even come with one. A full metal flash hider to replace the orange one, which unfortunately is glued on when you get it, so you'll have to find a way to take that off. Three targets, personally my favorite is the Ninja, but who's really going to use those anyways? Standard de jamming rod, Allen key, your limited warranty provided to you by Spartan Imports, and then my favorite of all the accessories that come with this gun is the manual. This thing is pretty cool. It doesn't just show you how to fire, how to adjust top up. This thing actually shows you how to disassemble it from the gun and how to disassemble the gearbox from the lower receiver. Okay guys, since this is a Sportline version, there is going to be many things that will disappoint you about this gun compared to a $300 to $400 Full Metal Classic Army or you know the other Full Metal Scars on the market. So I want to go ahead and get these out of the way. That way we can talk about the good. First being here is the flash hider. Flash hiders all nice and dandy. The way I believe about these flash hiders, yes, it should be orange, but the fact that you're gluing it up there is not going to stop somebody else from wanting to take it off. So I find that gluing it up there is not much of a deterrent and can later cause barrel damage if somebody tries to take it off the wrong way. Moving on to the magazine, how poor quality the actual paint job was on the magazine. I mean, look at how much wear. That's like, <laughs> this looks like a two or three year old mag. You know, I've only had this thing for two months and I've only played it in one official game. The lack of attention to detail, which I understand this is a sport line, but you're still going to be spending almost $200 for the gun. You're going to see a lot of like pins in the body or a lot of you know, just things in the body that looks like you'd be taking them out, but it's literally just cutouts in the mold. And you can actually break those off quite easily if you think you have to take it apart to take the gun apart. And then my last crack with this gun was the structural flaw of the stock and yes this was mainly my fault I was playing it a game I'll probably put it somewhere in here right now but basically I was running really fast trying to get away from a thunder bee because at that time if I was hit by the thunder bee I would have died and I pretty much just tripped over my own footing and I dropped the gun I've had multiple guns I've dropped before didn't break like this did and I mean as you can tell the whole stock was only held on by where these two screws attached to the body so in my mind that was just a really big structural flaw and I could see that as something that would have broken in the future anyways so I'm not too fond of how class Army decided to attach their stock to the body of the gun okay guys so going into my first pro about this gun if you are a previous scar owner you know that companies have tried everything end in back as far as putting a battery in the gun. I personally like how the wires are on this one. Unfortunately it's not concealed into the stock and then running into like many other ones but this one does not have contacts. I love that about this gun. The stock itself is its own entity. It can slide the way it wants to. It's held in by one screw down here so you can take the whole stock out if you choose and then you've got one plug that's going from the gearbox to the stock and then this plug actually runs about six inches through the gun like that and then you can just attach your battery right in moving up to the body of course you cannot go talking about a spartan slash fn herstal licensed gun without talking about the trademarks love trademarks yes this is a plastic body so it's probably not put on the best but the fact they're here makes it cool so you got the official fn herstal trays right here F and Herstal Scar L Caliber 6mm, and then flipping it over to the other side, Classic Army, Hong Kong. And then the next thing here is the hop up. I absolutely love this hop up. When I see this hop up, it reminds me of the Mad Bull Perfect hop up, and that thing was pretty cool. You got the more cylindrical style wheel. This thing has a nice amount of stiffness to it, so you're, it's easily going to be able to change it with your fingernail, but it's not going to change on you after you actually adjust the hop up. Uh, I mean this thing is very accurate. I put .25s in this and I'll go out the field all day and just have a blast with this gun. Okay, so the one thing I really did like about this gun is the attention to detail 
at least one thing they did for the outside. They made sure that this bolt was ambidextrous. So with that included Allen screw that I showed you earlier. Flip the gun around. Align your hole back up. So just like that, if you are a right or left handed shooter, you can put this bolt on the side that you prefer to use on this gun. So overall, that is just another feature I'm glad they made sure they put in. And besides that, everything else you are going to find on this Classic Army Sportline Scar is going to be pretty much standard. Okay guys, and the last point I would like to talk about here about the Classic Army Sportline Scar L is the performance you're going to get out of it. This thing out of the box is shooting right at 365 on average with outliers from 360 to 380 FPS on 0.20 gram BBs and with a 7.4 LiPo you will get right at 14.5 rounds per second. That's really good. We're literally talking almost 900 rounds per minute which in my mind is the benchmark I would want to reach for any gun out in the field. I like those stats. That's definitely what I want to see you know, stock out of a gun and the fact that you have some of the better parts in this gearbox, you can guarantee internally that this gun will last you. So in conclusion, would I tell you to buy this gun? If you don't play as rough as I do, you don't plan to drop this gun, you don't plan to fall on this gun, you don't plan to do anything crazy with this gun that would cause this to happen, I would tell you it's a no-brainer. I mean, as far as scars go, you're going to find that this gun, as far as the Sportline version, the only other models you really have to compare it to is going to be D-Boys, A&K, and Cybergun. So, I mean, overall, this is going to be the best one of those models to buy. So, if you're looking for the performance out of the box, something you don't even have to look at the gearbox until something breaks on you, buy this gun. This gun's going to perform well. But unfortunately, the overall rating, I am only going to give it an 8 out of 10 after saying that because of the structural design flaws. Looking at this, that is the whole upper receiver. So in the event that this was to happen to you too, which I'm sure it's happened to at least one or two other people that have owned this gun, you're looking to easily spend $30 to $40 just to replace that upper receiver. And that's if you can even get one. So this is just a word of caution if you are safe with your guns. Which, keeping in mind, I generally am myself, just get this gun. It's going to work well. It's going to do what you want it to do. And overall, I enjoyed reviewing this gun. Okay, guys, until next time, this has been a What You're Looking At production. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to do so. If you have a Classic Army Scar L and you've had a really good experience with it, make sure to like this video. Besides that, guys, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm out.